Hello friends, how are you doing today? So in this video, I'd like to share a new uh, tool with you. So uh, it's another video about the Google Form. Uh, so this time I'm doing something a little bit different. So normally uh, if you are using the Google Form, you need to uh, pull the data from the Google Form to a spreadsheet. So in this project, I'm doing uh, something different. So I'm going to uh, have some data in the spreadsheet and I'm going to submit uh, the form from the spreadsheet directly. So uh, this is maybe something very special for uh, some of you guys need to do a lot of submission in Google Form. So you need to repeat the process in the form one by one. So basically here I have a demo form here uh, with only uh, a few very simple uh, input here. I have a text input, an email address input, and I have a radio button here, a drop down, and a checkbox for multiple selection. Okay, just a few uh, input here as examples. So let's say if you have uh, 100 or more than 100 or 80, you need to do, do the submission maybe 100 a day. So you need to repeat the process here in the form one by one. That might be an issue for you. It could be a very headache if you do it manually one by one, all right? So you don't have to be the owner of this form, okay, in this tool. You can do any Google form. All right, but there is uh, okay. So here, uh, let me show you uh, what I what I mean here. So here I have the uh, so this is a form I just show you, and this is spreadsheet. Uh, there is no connection between both of the both of files. Okay, right now, so here is the data source. You only need to enter the your answers for the form in this spreadsheet and then you click this submit uh, and the script I'm going to submit all of this information to your to this Google form okay so first of all I need to remove this column first because this is this column is not for the form it is a, a status column for the submission for each of the submission okay so let's remove it and try to run this submit function here all right, so now as you can see here, uh, I got a result success for uh, three rows here. If I go back to the form, let's add in this form. I should see the responses here in the Google form. All right, as you can see. So I have got three responses here and uh, all of this information is is from that spreadsheet directly and the first one is my name here Ashton as you can see this is the first name Ashton here and the second one I think is uh, is Jim is Jim here all right so I think you uh, right now you can get the idea uh, what I'm doing here in this tool so if you think this could help you with your daily work and uh, you find the right tool to use okay uh, but to use this tool uh, we need to do some configuration and uh, you may be noticed there uh, we have something uh, in this row 3 uh, something is very special here with the entry dot at the beginning and there we have a serial number like this for each input field okay so this is very important information we need to collect from the Google form manually so we cannot uh, collect these IDs from the form directly uh, with the script because this form maybe you are, you are not the owner of this form so you cannot get these IDs in the script uh, but uh, we can we need to manually set it up and put it here and we can use it to do the submission all right so uh, let me show you how to set up the tool and you can use it on your Google Drive and uh, 
to do something similar to this one. Okay, so let's try to do another submission to make sure uh, this is working. So as you can see here, I, I have three submissions here. And uh, if I try to do it once again, I should have six responses in the form. All right, so five, six. Now everything I think is working perfectly. Okay, so let me show you how to how to get the informations. I like to highlight them in another color so you can see it very clearly. So let me highlight it in red. So basically, in this form, we have two uh, two very important stuff. So the first one is this one. Is this URL in B1? Okay, in cell B1, this URL is a uh, is for the form request so basically uh, this is a uh, URL the data will be posted to okay so this is a very important information I will show you where to get it later and uh, another stuff highlight here so for each question we're going to have an entry ID for the specific specific I, uh, input in your Google form you need to grab this entry ID here for each input and put it here in row 3 so maybe your form is a little different from mine here because this is just a demo form for this uh, for this demo and for this test. So you after you copy my file, you cannot use them. You need to update all of these IDs. Okay. So let me show you how to get these IDs from the Google Form. So you only need to go to the form, and you need to uh, submit a test. Okay. So right now I'm in this form. Let me close this one. And uh, you need to inspect, open the uh, developer tool here, and go to the network page here. And uh, let me close this one. So, all right, so now you have something here. And uh, if you did a submission, let me try to the submission here for the test. Put my name here. Choose no. Choose yes. Let's choose TypeScript, JavaScript, and Python. And uh, so, once you uh, complete all of these field questions here, and uh, you click submit, you should see here we have a form response. Form response here, and uh, clicks on this form response. And I should get all of this data in this header tab here. And as you can see here, you can grab the request URL here. So basically, you copy this URL and uh, replace re replace this one in B1. OK, so this URL should be replaced if you are trying, uh, if you are trying it on your own. Uh, Google Form, okay, so it will be an, a different URL, okay, so you can copy this URL, so this is a very important parameters here you need to grab, okay, so this one is very important, and uh, the second very important one is the entry ID, so you just scroll down, down and you should be able to see the form data, okay, as you can see here, you got the entry ID for the first one is my name, okay, and this is for the second one, I choose yes, and this is for third one, no, and this is for the fourth one, because this is a multiple uh, select, so you can see the ID is the same, but the value is different, so you here have the JavaScript, Python, and the type, so you only need to grab one ID, and uh, for the values, it will separate it uh, with comma, uh, which I set it up in the uh, script. So I use comma to separate multiple multiple values. So so just be careful. So don't use the comma in other uh, field. Okay. So this comma is only is only for multiple uh, entry values. All right. So just be aware of that. So uh, as you can see here, you can grab all the information here. And as the last one here is for the email address. So this is all the IDs you need to get. Uh, you can get it here 
directly, and you only need to do it do it for once. Okay. Uh, so if your form is already set up, you only need to do it once. But if you delete something or you add a new uh, input field in your form, you need to update it, and you can do it do it like this in the same way. Okay. So you can grab the new ID. All right. Grab the new ID and uh, add it here at the new column. Okay. So just simple like that. So you can set it, set it up like this very easily, okay? So there are some uh, limitation, restriction of this tool, okay? So basically in your form, you maybe have some uh, file uploader. Maybe you have a file uploader. Uh, so this, this tool doesn't support that. So if you have a file uploader, you cannot use this tool to do that. So right now, uh, it only supports the, so I think anything else uh, except the, everything else except the file uploader, okay? So I hope this can help you if you don't need to use a file uploader in the form, okay? So I think that's uh, almost everything you need to set up, all right? And you don't need to go to the uh, script to do some modification. So I also want to show you the script. It's just a very few lines of code and uh, just in case you need to do something, you need to change something. So you also can change it in the script. All right, like the separator for the multiple input values, you also can choose another separator. Uh, maybe you have some, you need to use this comma in other field and you'd like to choose another separator, you also can modify the separator in the code and then you then can use another separator uh, in this spreadsheet, okay? So this is a script, you need a while to load the script. All right. So you can find the separator here, SEP with a comma, so you can replace it with whatever you want. Okay, and once you replace the separator, you need to replace it here as well. Okay, so if you want to use the forward slash, you can do something like this. So let's change it back to comma. And for the status here, you also can change it. I replace, I placed the SS success, okay, for default. And this is the header of the success status, uh, submission status, sorry. So it's for this, all right. And uh, this is the spreadsheet name, uh, the, the sheet name uh, for the data source, okay, to be submitted. You also can change it. If you change this name here, make sure you update this name here as well, right? And this app name is for this menu, okay? So if you prefer another menu name, you can update it here, all right? So that's almost uh, everything I'd like to share today, all right? As you can see here, just a few lines of code. You can go through it very quickly, okay? Nothing special here, all right? Uh, it's a quick video and I uh, hope you can enjoy it and learn something from it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.